God damn it. Hold on. God damn it. I'm trying to ignore. And when you deal with it so much on a daily basis. It's creepy you're sitting in the dark. There are days where I don't even want to get out of bed. There are days where I literally have to force myself. And I do mean to literally force myself out of bed. You love that word, literally. Because I am so depressed and so drained from all this bullshit. There are days where I'm barely even able to keep anything down because I'm so sick to my stomach. That I can barely keep anything down without fucking puking. That's how bad it truly is. If you take a look at me before all this, you know, take a look at me back in 2011, 2012. I was great. Did you have great. pimples and boils on your ass then? But now my health has gone down so bad that it's hard for me to get out of bed. It is truly hard for me to even get out of bed anymore. Half the time, I don't even want to do anything anymore. Because I know that the minute that I do do something that I love, it's just going to get taken away from me for no reason. Imagine waking up, forcing yourself out of bed to do what you love for your family, and then go into your comment section on your channel and seeing nothing but bullying and hatred every day, being called pedophile day in and day out, day in and day out, every single day of the week. We does work though. Imagine having videos being made of you that are not funny but are bashing on you and belittling you and making you feel like such sh to the point where you want to end your life. At one point, I did try to end my life on Kate's live stream twice in a row. Once it was on Marty's channel, on Music Biz Marty's channel with her there, and then the other was directly on Kate's channel. Twice in a row I tried to end my life because of her. You didn't try, you threatened. You threatened you were going to And I'm not the only one that has done this. If you go back on her channel and you look at all the people that she's victimized, all the people that... People like Tonic and Rumor have victimized. People like Rustic Angel have victimized. There are a lot of fucking people that have tried to end their lives or have ended their lives because of this bullying. That's what I deal with on a daily basis and it's not easy. Believe me, I wish it was easy to ignore this. But when you get put through this so much for four months straight, it becomes very hard to ignore. Especially when it costs you your job, your biological father his job, and almost costs your stepdad his job. Because of Kate and her friends, I lost my job. My biological father lost his. I was an audio engineer for my friend Enoch and his gaming company. Making $150 per demo, which was like $150 a week, if not every other day. Because of the amount of work that I was putting in. I had a great job. Everything was going great for me. Things were starting to look up. 
And then what happened? Kate and her little friends decided to get on Facebook, attack my friends and family, and cost me my job with my best friend. To the point to where now they don't want me at all. I've lost friends because of this. I've got family members that won't even speak to me anymore because of this. Anymore, it's very hard for me to even get a job because of the things that Kate has done to me. Oh, give me a break. How can she keep you from getting a job? My biological father was very lucky that he managed to get another job <laughs> after what she did. I can't even get a job, a regular nine to five job. Because yes, of Kate now. tons of jobs now too. But people won't so I have to make do with what I home. have at my disposal. So go get one. I have to make do with my artwork and my poetry and stuff that I'm good at. I have to fight now. Now I'm gonna have to try to fight just to get my licensing to do caretaking full time for the state. After my stepfather's surgery. Mm -mm -mm. After my stepdad's surgery here next month, I'm going to have to fight to try to get my license. And I do mean fight because I know what Kate's going to try to do. Mm -mm. You're not stable, dude. And people think that it's easy to just ignore. But imagine living in my shoes for four months, or even a day. Hmm. Put yourself in my shoes for one day and see how easy it is. Because it's not. And on top of that, I have people fighting over me. And I mean literally fighting over me every fucking day of the week. People coming in and telling me that they own me and trying to lay claim to my channel and lay claim to me and this and that oh, and the yeah. other. I'm tired of it. Some of you may have seen this movie. If any of you have ever seen the movie Cyberbully, that movie literally is my life every day. Every day of the week, that is my life. I've been scrutinized, outcasted. Oh yeah, get a concealed weapon permit. <laughs> Blacklisted. Yeah. It's not All stable for enough for that. A few laughs. You're an and asshole. This is what I meant earlier when I said if people would just give me a chance, I could do good things. But instead, nobody wants to let me do anything. And I don't understand why. Why must you hang on to the past of what I did? Well, it sounds like this goes back real far. Why must you hang on to what I did? Marty, Bender Boys. Why can't you take a look at what Kate's done? Take a look at the hundreds of people that she's victimized over those years. This entire time, she's victimized hundreds of people. So I don't understand why focus on me. You're dead. I don't understand it. you treat people like shit? Every night when I go to sleep... Not 
only do I cry myself to sleep silently because of everything. But when I go to sleep, I just don't go to sleep. I go to war with my demons every night. Every night I have to face my demons. I have to face the comments that people have left and they replay over and over in my head every night. That has been my life for the last four months. 